A video on how to make bubble gum is amazing. Mm -hmm. But base that video around Fight Club and you get a proper hard bubble gum. Spoiler alert, I'm not actually Brad Pitt. But I am gonna show you how to make this edible soap from Fight Club, and it's made out of bubble gum, so don't wash yourself with it. Right, first up, we're gonna need some gum mix. I got them off the internet, so just search gum pellets, and they come like this. I mean, they're not great, they look like cat litter. So anyway, we're gonna open these up, and uh, we're gonna stick them in a bowl. Oh my God! Are you Brad Pitt? Are you meatloaf? There's no need for that, is there? Next up, you want to grab your golden syrup. Uh, in other parts of the world, you can use corn syrup, which is pretty much the same. For every packet that you've used, you want two ounces of this. That's about four ounces. Yeah, that'll do. And then you want to add to it some flavoring. Now, you can use mint. If you want to make chewing gum, you can use raspberry. You can use bubble gum flavor. Um, what I've gone for is some strawberry flavored jelly mix, or jello mix, depending on where you're from. You can also use Kool-Aid mix or drinks mix because that will actually prolong the flavor. Then take that bowl with its contents and stick it in the microwave for a minute and a half. Now, our pink soap is pink, so we're gonna add some pink. Here's the pink. Could have had them. I've taken the bowl's melted contents and I've left it for 15 minutes. Now this is vital because it is so hot, it will burn your fingers off to the bone. So you've got to leave it. Then you're going to take some icing sugar and just knead it in there so that you get, there you go, look. So it's making it sugary, it's making it nice and stretchy and malleable. And you just keep on doing that, keep on doing that till it cools right down until you can mold it and you get a really nice pink color through it. Once you've covered it in your icing sugar and you've really kneaded it in nicely, it loses its tackiness and it starts to get a little bit firm. And that's when you can roll it out and make any shape that you want and use it as bubble gum. Now, because we're recreating this soap, I've got to etch out little letters spelling Fight Club, which is gonna be a nightmare. This is so hot. Just cut to the end result. I'm really happy with that. I uh, think that's a fitting tribute. Think about all that we've accomplished. Now I've just got to find someone to eat it. <laughs> oh. Look how much he's taken. Oh, chewy, isn't it? Oh. Chew it with your mouth closed. People hate to hear the sound of chewing. No, don't. We'll get hate for that. I had to spit mine out because I had too much. There is a reason why we've made this Fight Club bubble gum today. And uh, that was that we wanted to show you and share with you a thing that we created called Bite Club. Clever, eh? Yeah. Bite Club, Bite, Bite Club, Club, food, yeah. you know. It's basically food that appears in or is inspired by the movies. For example, Big Kahuna Burger from Pulp Fiction. Yep. We Five did. Dollar Shake. Same film. Same film. Tom, the guy who produces and directs all of our stuff. Here's Tom. Oh, and this is him doing a little dance. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna hate you. Mm. He put together a team and produced this incredible series along with our development chef James, who has appeared in one fridge cam. Oh, um, there he is. Happy holidays, everyone. James! James! Mike did appear in it, like here. I was supposed to be helping behind the scenes and this and happened. Here. Is it tasty? Yes, yeah, it is. Is it really good? Mm. Mine's warm. You need to go and watch this series because it's brilliant. It is actually brilliant. You can see them all across your screen now. So just go and click on any one of those and they'll take you over to watch those videos. And talking of sex, what, were we? We made the sexiest rose tartlets. Yeah, raspberry and rose tartlets. Yep. And this was to link in with the meals to show off. Food to show off, I'm so sorry. Ah. And this is to link in with the food to show off chapter of our book, which has come out this week. If you could impress anyone in the world, who would it be? Go on, give us a clue. All right then. Sexy fridge. Sexy fridge. And speaking of dates, where have you gone? I'm back here. What? You just been on one. No, it wasn't a proper date. What? Why? Because it was so cringingly awkward that it doesn't count as a proper date, or because? No, because she fancied Jamie. And I actually kind of have a crush on one of the other guys. Sorry. Who? Mm, I mean, well, there's Jamie. Who has a belly to die for? 
I could just like throw my Lego <laughs> shot in bed. Well, I like a little meat on my man, and I could just already imagine us rolling around together, and I would just be like this tiny little thing that would just like fit perfectly in his arms. This was with Brandy from Pop Sugar, uh, and I got to show her one of our best desserts of all time. What was a that? white chocolate Rocky Road, which you can watch here. That is good. That's Valentine's Day, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And, and she, she wasn't showed, impressed. No, she was she was blown away by it. It's just the fact she didn't fancy me was the issue. <laughs> to continue our sexy fridge cam. Um Mike, you did a bit of flirting, didn't you? I wasn't flirting, I was being friendly. Well, well, look, it's not every day you get to cook with three thoroughly lovely and attractive young ladies. So, you know, I was just being nice. I was just being myself. Kisorin. 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 Yeah. What's that mean? It's an Italian little thing that you put chocolate inside of and deep fry it and it tastes amazing. You sprinkle it with icing sugar. Mmm. I'll tell you what else is sexy. What? Deconstructed Caesar salad. Look yeah. at that. Taking what is a Caesar salad and basically putting a TNT inside of it and Yeah, just exploding it across the table. Deconstructing top. it. It's good. Our feel good food recipe this week was miso rice with poached salmon, completely fat free. It's delicious, it's Japanese inspired. Here's a picture of it. It looks really good. It's sexy. So keep uploading your photos, hashtag sorted food on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, that's the other social thing. But also, most importantly, make sure you subscribe to Sorted Food. It really does help. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. And here's a bubble, here's a bubble. Oh, for goodness sake. That was so oh, good. That again. No, 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 don't stop. Wait, I've got a big one. Oh my god, it's amazing! Sexy fridge, sexy fridge, sexy, sexy fridge, 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 sexy frid